welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm becky i bring you awesome fun and timely content on all my platforms so make sure you like comment you share and you definitely subscribe good morning i hope you guys are having a great day as you have seen from the title today i am going to be sharing my engagement story so i am going to sh be sharing how mommy got this ring and how he popped the question so you guys will hopefully see the vlog after this because i feel like if i post the vlog past <laughs> the vlog part first this will it will dilute the whole idea of me telling the story after so i will do it before so Yesterday was the 18th of uh, June, 2023. It was a Sunday, Father's Day, to be specific. And that is the day my partner popped the question. I am obsessed with this ring. But we will get there a bit later. But for now, I want to share how, you know, how we got to this point. So uh, as of yesterday, we have been together two point six years and we met a church a ministry you know what how we met is a whole other thing if you guys want to know how we met please tell me i will give the story he will not be here with me to give the story but i will definitely give you guys the story if that is something you'd love to hear today let us talk about the engagement so together 2.6 uh, 2.6 is two years six months and as of as of this month as of june and we started having the marriage talk quite early we had this conversation quite early in our relationship it is something we have always been intentional about doing it is not just a by the way it is not just a oops let's just do this just because it's something we have talked about and prayed about and been preparing for for years and I always felt in my heart I would know the day when he would pop the question. I just had this this feeling that ah, Becky, you 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 know you have this figured out. You know him. You know his cues. You know if he's nervous. You know if he's excited. So you will be able to tell. And guys, I feel like overconfidence was my greatest failure when it came to this engagement. So I remember a few months back this year, like in Jan Feb, he was like, "So who would you like in your?" in your engagement what would you like in an engagement and from the onset i had always shared that i would love a grand engagement i am i'm so sorry i am not the just the two of us at kfc kind of girl i am not set up like that i want my friends i want my family i want a photographer i want videos i want it grand all right so and i share that with him earlier on i was like baby this is what i would love if you give me this, you will have, you will just, you will have touched my heart and believe my man to deliver. So I share a list. Most of it was my siblings, the girls in my bridal party and my friends and a few friends of ours, mutual friends. I tried to make sure that I did not bring any stranger into the guest list because that would be so much work for them to acclimate to the situation to get to know people. So I brought people that we knew as, as a couple. Everyone there is someone that we know and we have interacted with as a couple and even individually. So they are part of our circle. And I shared the list. I shared everyone I wanted. And I also shared the ring. The first time I sent him a ring I loved, I got a photo out of Pinterest and it was... um. What is this called? Is this a rectangle cut? Can you guys see this? It was literally this. This was the cut of the ring I shared. And I remember my preference was always a rectangle cut ring. And that is what I shared when he asked me, what kind of ring would you like? I shared it. And I think another thing I appreciate about my partner is that he understands. I like things the way I like them. He did not go how out of your... Uh, uh, he did not go out of his way to do what he thought I would like. He asked me 
what I wanted. And that is something I really appreciate about him. And he does that in everything. He will ask to, to know what I want before he shoves something down my throat and I don't like it. So shared the ring in around Jan Feb, what I would like. And then last month I saw this ring, this exact ring, guys, June. It was June 2nd or 3rd. I saw this ring and I remember sharing it with him on Instagram. I saw it from parties and I shared it with him on Instagram and I just let it let him do every other thing. Yeah, and he asked before he actually thought about getting it. He was like, is that is that the kind of ring you want? Is Do you want to change? Are you okay with it? I was like, superb. So it's not like I didn't know the engagement was going to happen. Of course, I knew it was going to happen. I'd given my guest list. I'd given what I wanted, the vibes and everything. I just did not know when and where. So uh, this past week, I, I, he tells me this month, when this month started, when June started, he's like, Maybe I wanted to make your hair, go to the salon. I make my hair myself. So I was like, oh, okay. He just asked me to make my hair. He sent me, he gets me the things. I do my hair. He pays. I go to the salon and get my nails done. If you guys saw the vlog of me getting these nails done around that time, where is focus? I got these nails done and I got these braids done too. This ones, this is the hair I got done. If you guys can remember that video, yes, that, that is definitely around the time I got engaged. So, uh, I do my hair, I do my nails, and then the wait begins. I remember that the day I did my nails was a Thursday, and I was like, mm, tomorrow. I was so sure that Friday is the day he's going to pop the question, and I'm going to be excited and just say yes, and you're going to move. Nothing happened. Saturday, nothing. Sunday, nothing. Monday, Tuesday. I'm wondering what is ha what is happening here? What is this, guys? What is the I was like, uh uh, please what I I don't what is this? What is this these people are planning? And I knew he was planning something. I of course knew because it's something we've talked about, and he had told me he would propose before we did our first traditional uh dowry payment, which is in which is in June. So I knew he was going to do it sooner than later. He had honestly told me that, baby girl, this thing we are doing before we go home. So I knew it was before June. But you know, that, those are, that is so many days. Those are so many weeks. There's no way I would have guessed. So yesterday comes around and I was leading service. So wake up, get ready, vlog. And later my sisters tell me they had me vlogging in the morning and they were like, that's our girl. That's our girl. Let's have vlog. Let's have vlog. So... Woke up, started vlogging, go to the went to church, finished service. So after service, there was a couple's lunch on a church. But then we had a meeting with one of our amazing, amazing friends that are literally, honestly, like our parents. That is Pastor Kimonyo and his wife. And so he approaches them. Apparently, he had approached them weeks before to tell them he wanted to propose in their backyard and all. They have a beautiful, but you guys will see the video, so beautiful. So they had said, yes, definitely, we got you, you can do it. So he asked them to tell me that it's just a meeting. We had been wanting to meet with them concerning things, some things in the wedding. And just to honor and invite them in person, just a, a show of honor to them for who they are in our lives. So they're like, yeah, we're still meeting. I promise you guys, I met uh, Mam Tabi after church and she hugged me. She was like, yes, we are still meeting today. So in my head, I know we are just going for a meeting. So we chill in church, we eat. The caterer who catered for the luncheon, guys, that is the caterer who catered for my engagement. So he knew. I went to the kitchen, I was like, dude, I'm so hungry. Give me food. It's called Boni Boni's Cuisine. And I go to the kitchen, I'm like, Boni, I'm so hungry. Is the food still there? He's like, definitely. Deep state, last man, he serves me, he's happy. I take the food, I go chop. I was seated with, with my man. We sit together, we eat, we share the food, we finish. We still chill in church. Then all of a sudden, he's like, you know what? Do, if you guys are new here, I have a friend called Duro. Do is like, um, he, he hits me up and he's like, Kinado are going home. They can give us a lift so that we can just go home and chill and wait for Mam Tabi to be done with the meeting so that we can meet at their place. I'm like, ah, definitely. We get into the car with Do and DV. We we go, they drop us. And then literally, Do even is like, baby girl, bye. I'll see you on, on, on Saturday. And I'm like, yeah, see you, girl, on the weekend. And we come home. 
home here we were home here so we come home and no one was home my sister margaret i thought she had gone for a cookout with her friends my cousin Agustin is out of town my sister virginia had told me she was going to visit a friend before she flies out she will she flew out yesterday she arrived yesterday 3 a.m she went to ghana for work and then joy had already texted me by like one that girl i have left for school i have carried your backpack see you i even replied on the family group i was like i love you bye i would i will put screenshots if i can these people had this thing well thought out so we come to the house i am so tired i'm like i need a nap then he's like but your makeup is going to come off i'm like oh yeah okay we just chill we laugh at videos on tiktok we talk we talk one thing i love about my partner is we can talk me and him we talk we laugh we have fun so we're just talking we're chilling he's playing video games i'm on tiktok i'm laughing we're sharing videos and all then all of a sudden i'm just like dude are we not going like what time is this luncheon ending then he's like let me call and ask when he called to ask he did not call mom tab tabby he called the photographer our photographer is called zebedee i'll leave his details if you'd like in the in the description he's also the photographer for our wedding so i'll definitely share our experience with him later but for this it was him and so apparently he had called zebedee to ask dude uh, uh, hello how far are you can we start coming and of course, Zebedee is at the location, so he says, yeah. So me, I know Mam Tabi, they're already home. They're ready for us. We are ready to start the meeting. Let us go. Oh, and before that, Mam Tabi's children, now Shalom and Wina, had gone home earlier. And I remember telling him, dude, can we, can we just hitch a ride with Kina Shalom? We are going to their house anyway. Then he was like, no, you want us to go and sit there doing what? No, let them go. I think their mama told them to go prepare food for us for the meeting. I'm like, come on now. I'm going to be fed. Let's do this. So we go. We we leave home. He's like, do you want to change? Are you comfy? I'm like, yeah, me, I'm just okay. I just went in the clothes. I went, I'll put a photo here. The way I was looking when I left church, when I took photos with my friends, that is how I was looking when I arrived at my engagement. Believe it or not, we walked. So in the morning, when we were going to service, me and my, my sister, me and Joy, we had to take Anduthi because um, we were running a bit late and yesterday the service was beginning a bit early, early than normal. So we had to take Anduthi. And from that Anduthi ride, my back had been giving me pain at the, at the bottom. From our house to Mam Tabi's place is not far. So I remember being to him, you know what, we can walk. He was like, okay, fine, you, you know the place. He me has been there once. I've been there severally, so I know where it is. So I'm like, we can just walk. Guys, I put on my shoes and we started walking. We're just walking to the place. We, we walk, we walk, we talk, we talk, we laugh on the way. We look at things, we get there. On the way, this guy is like, hey, baby, you've seen all of my suits. He had worn a suit. You'll see from the photo. He's like, hey, baby, you've seen all the suits. Does this mean I need to buy a new coat for the proposal? I had told him specifically, I do not want you to come looking right. Let me tell you, my man is like, oh man, he's just gonna wear anything and he's just cool. But no, I was like, baby, no, 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 no. I need you in, I need you looking good. I need you in a shirt and in good pants and in beautiful looking shoes. And now that I think about it, he had told me that the day I see him wearing those shoes, I should know that is the day, but how could I remember? I could not remember that. So on the way, he's like, babe, you've seen all my suits. Does this mean I need to purchase a coat? Hey, then in my head, I'm, calculating, I'm like, by, this, by the time this man gets an off day, goes to look for a coat, that proposal is next week. I was like, next week it is settled. I'm like, yeah, I guess you don't have to buy a new one, but just just look put together. I, I, I told him, please look to put together. So we walk, we walk, we get there. And I remember we got there and I was like, if this, I would have known that that was my proposal if I had seen many cars most of the people we had invited they have cars and i know they are cars so if i had seen those cars i would have known mm, this is about to happen what makes you think that they did not hide the cars i don't know where they packed those cars there was nothing outside it was just one car which it's the is the car that shalom and Wina went home in so of course they are at home they are cooking for us for the meeting all right so i look outside there are no cars so he presses the bell my baby's gonna press the bell and so uh later i find out that uh, when i went that's when i realized that everyone who i had invited for our engagement was there guys all of them were inside their photographer was ready everyone was everyone had their phone out because i had specifically told him baby i want so many videos i want 
I want people to vlog my engagement because I want to watch it later. I know I am there in the moment, but for memory's sake, I honestly would just love to have a vlog of it. So everyone's phone is out. Every I just winner opens the gate. I just had footsteps was like, oh, winner has come to open for us the gate. Winner opens the gate. I go in oblivious. Guys, I remember I even saw Winner. She opened the gate. I looked at her. I was like, my good. In my head, I was like, this girl is so, she looks so nice. I, I just thought she's going somewhere. Guys, the minute I stepped into that gate, I just had surprise. And then I saw everyone. I saw all my friends. I saw my sisters. It was the most surprised i have been in years guys i did not see it coming i failed you people i failed you people i have failed you my guys i told you i will know when it happens i did not see it coming i did not see it coming at all i was flabbergasted i cried i had makeup on guys i just put the shoe on my face guys i cried it was not it was not a beautiful sight to behold. But let me tell you, I would not have it any other way. I'm telling you there, he gongered me ten nil. And I remember later he was like, then the babe was going to tell you when this thing was going to happen. But then this one day we were talking and you were like, I babe, I dare you to surprise me. And he was like, I took up that challenge and I decided you I will surprise you. I'm telling you, I had the most beautiful surprise of my life. It was beyond anything i could have ever thought it was beyond everything guys i dreamt about this day for so many years and it was beyond my wildest dreams everyone who was there yani everyone meant something to me everyone just they are so important to me i just loved everything about it so get into the gate so i remember when i saw when i walked into the gate and sort of titled my head when i was hearing surprise i saw zebedi the photographer there i was like no 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 you guys lied i'm telling you guys i cried i was that girl who's like no i will not cry because i know he's going to engage me guys the emotions that hit you in that moment even you you will surprise yourself because personally i surprised myself the emotions just came gushing in i did not expect it and i had already been emotional from the morning from when I lead service, I don't know, it just gets me in my feelings, all right? And from being emotional during the day, I was so tired. And this guy is giving me a hard time about me sleeping. And then we now go there. And then now, it is a whole surprise. Yani, all those emotions, everything was just happening, guys. I cried. I will, I'll, as I say this, I will just put photos of the moments I'm describing. I remember just seeing all my friends and I'm hugging even I'm just like, thank you, thank you. Then I see my girlfriend, like, you lied, all of you lied to me. Guys, that day we had left church. Dora told me, see you on Sunday. And Sheila was like, baby girl, I am so, because last Sunday she went home early to go sleep. She's like, baby girl, I am so ex exhausted, let me go home and sleep. She left immediately after service. So and Sheila left with Joy and Maggie from church. They left immediately after service. Excuse me. Joy was like, I am going to school, so she leaves. Daisy's like, oh, baby girl, I love you so much. I will see you on Sunday. Have a great week. Oh, da, 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 da. Daisy leaves. Who else? Chelsea just, I did not even know when Chelsea left. She just left. Tessie, we had not spoken this week, but she was also there. Tessie, yes, the Tessie you people know, the Tessie, my friend from campus. She was also there. Grace was like, sis, bye. Sissy, we are going to remain for the luncheon and then we are going to go home because we have had such a long weekend. I was like, bye, guys. Pastor Haron was like, bye. I even sent greetings to Mo. I was like, say hi to Mo. I even had Kinanes. They go, I'm like, wamenda nyombani. These people went home. People dropped children. People came back to Siokimau. They came back to the location. Let me tell you guys. These people are people I love and I am so happy that they took their time, that they made time to come and be part of this surprise. Anyway, so the, after I finish uh, crying, the girls take me upstairs to Wina's room where they're like, I, they wipe my face, they do makeup for me. My friend Grace is a makeup artist. So apparently she's the one who had been told, sis, you're handling the makeup because this girl will cry and everything will come out. So sis does my makeup. I look so nice. They had gotten me a dress. And that is when I remembered, uh, babe had asked me what if 
during my engagement what color would i want to be wearing i was like oh i would love a beautiful blue what makes you think this man did not go and look for a dress him and auntie sheila they went and looked for dre a dress a beautiful dress and got it for me a bare back i'll put the photos got me a very very beautiful dress so i am just there i'm just looking so t i'm just looking so confused i was not processed you guys will see the vlog i was not looking like myself i was just so conf I, w I could not believe that they had gotten me that good so they do my face and in my head i'm like ah, ah the surprise is over let me tell you guys i finish they finish my face i dress up i go downstairs and let me tell you i am met by the most beautiful setup oh my goodness i will put the photos here auntie sheila went above and beyond for me this girl she did above beyond for me so the previous day saturday shalom had given me a lift home so i remember auntie sheila asking shalom are you you're going home immediately shalom was like yeah so if if i come for the projector you'll be home shalom is like yeah definitely if to come get it and there's a project that there's a church project that they did a recording at their place so i i just was like oh the projector they left it there then apparently i go shalom drops me goes home and sheila goes they are planning how, where the tent is going to be put what is going to happen where the flowers are going to be placed where the kitchen guys this went the night before to plan and make sure everything was in place i don't know when they put in the tent probably the day before or that morning but let me tell you guys that place was beautiful it was the engagement of my entire life it was so dreamy it was so dreamy i loved everything about it girls do my makeup i walk downstairs i just start talking and then i hear this song uh, this is why i love you because you love me too that song always gets me in my feels and my baby knows I love it. That is the song that was playing. As I just walked out of the door, I saw some rose petals. So I just followed the roses. I went, I met my beautiful man. Ha! Guys. The crying I crowed. I'm sure even in the photos, I just have this. I have a paper towel. I was just, the whole time, I was just wiping tears from my face so goes goes on one he used to honestly really joke about it and he used to be like you know what baby what if i don't go on one what if i just stand and ask and i'll be like whatever man imagine whatever you feel like floats the boat but deep down he knew i would love him to kneel you know like just just make it make it beautiful come on come on <laughs> he went on one knee oh my goodness let me tell you people let me tell you people dreams come true no one can tell me anything about it no one can tell me anything about it so he goes on one knee and he's like so baby would you like to spend the rest of my life yeah i was like yes baby let's do this no i was not that. that's not what i said i was like yes <laughs> I was just crying and wiping tears then he takes my hand and he puts this rock on it he put the rock on it he put the rock on it guys can you tell i'm so excited <laughs> how do people walk in town in the engagement ring is it in the pocket do you put it in the bag do you put it in your sling bag do you put it in your finger and walk like this how do, i don't know how people walk in town i'm going to town today i will tell i will give you feedback in the next vlog how people walk in town <laughs> Ha. he puts the ring on we have a small dancing party with my friends guys it was the most beautiful thing ever this man this man oh god may you just bless this man for me because my goodness he just he exceeded my wildest dreams so he goes down on a knee he asks pops the question and yeah i say yes he puts the ring on we have a dance party with my friends and then yeah we sit down guys the setup was so beautiful i will put photos for you guys and sheila made name tags for people there was a thank you note thank you for being here let me let me pick it and show you guys i feel like this is these are details i want to... so these are the small details that 
and Sheila did that I loved my goodness I was so 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 pleasantly surprised so it was as, as you guys have seen from the photo it was two tables with chairs so we were sitting facing each other and every table at every chair there was a name tag so your part was to sit where your name tag was so this is Kelvin that is the name of my my man by the time you guys watch this he will be my husband so this is my husband's name and this is my name on the table it was put at the table this is Beckham like so and then there was this one next to mine so we sat next to each other this princess went and did thank you cards for us guys we looked so thoughtful it looked so thoughtful she did these thank you cards uh, thank you for being part of our special day Becky and Kelvin 18 6 2023 and at the back I love I love this verse so this is the verse that was at the back I don't know how she knew I love this verse but you know what if you know Auntie Sheila she knows everything so this is it yeah number 6 24 to 26 the Lord keep you bless you make his face shine upon you and then there was candy on every table there were sweets this because there was a pack i don't i don't even know where mine went guys i was just everywhere i don't even remember where mine went but i know there was this there was other menthol candies on the tables that were really well wrapped you see from the photos so beautiful and let me tell you this girl gave uh my the everyone that attended my engagement went home with souvenirs so all these were souvenirs the candy the thank you note the name tag everyone carried their own and then there was the souvenir which is this which is lindy honey lindy honey came through for the souvenirs this is honey in this bottle everyone went home with it guys it was the most most beautiful thing we ate food that was served by Bonnie's Cuisine. I will share that. And then we cut cake. We had some speeches. She was so thoughtful. She even got a gift for us to present to Mam Tabi and Pastor Kimonyo for having us use their home as our location for the engagement. It was the most... It was so beautiful. Daisy of Mint and Cream Bakers came through on the cake. I will share a photo. The most beautiful yummy tasting cake and believe it or not we had that flavor of cake at our wedding so beautiful so 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 beautiful we will have it at our wedding as i'm recording this the wedding has not yet happened but by the time people are watching yeah we are definitely having that at our wedding and so yeah guys that is the oh we danced uh uh guys we danced the night away we danced the night away look out for the vlog it was the most beautiful day of my life i remember coming home and I sat on my bed and I cried. I was like, my goodness, I cannot believe. I can, I could not believe that that was my engagement. It was so beautiful. And yeah, I love that my sisters were there. My friends, people I love, family, everyone was there that I wanted to be there. Some did not make it, but I know. They know. They know. They know that I love them. All right. So that was my beautiful engagement. That is how my baby pulled it off with the help of our friends and this is my ring this is my engagement ring so beautiful such a huge rock rectangle cut yes this is my ring from patty's jewelry so that marks the end of this video thank you so so much guys for indulging me and watching this video i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions about my engagement please write them below i will make sure to answer them the providers i'll write them below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye